Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. Ini adalah video chapter 11, The Formation of Solid, part 2. 11.2 yang modulus is defined as the ratio of the tensile stress to the tensile strain if the proportionality limit has not been exceeded. Or, yang modulus Y equals tensile stress over tensile strain. Symbol for tensile stress is sigma and symbol for tensile strain is like an E. Okay, so it is equals to force over area over elongation over L0. So, Yang modulus Y equals F L0 over AE. Where F is force, L0 is original length, A is cross-sectional area, and E is the elongation. Yang modulus is a scalar quantity. It has no direction. The unit of Young modulus is kilogram per meter per second squared or newton per meter squared or pascal. Young modulus Y can be thought as the resistance in the formation when Y is greater in value means a material is not easily to be stretched or compress. Young modulus Y is the property of a material that enables them to return to their original dimensions, shape and size after an applied force or stress has been removed. Deformation occurs when external forces act to stretch, compress, or shear a solid. An object or a material which returns to its original length or size after being distorted suffers elastic deformation. That is, it behaves within the elastic limit. Plastic deformation occurs when a material is deformed beyond its elastic limit. Young modulus does not depend to the length of the wire but it depends to the material made the wire. It depends on the type of material. Yang modulus does not change if the length of the wire is increased or decreased because it does not depend on the length. Table below shows the value of Yang modulus for various material. For aluminium, Yang modulus 69. And for copper, Yang modulus is 110. For steel, Yang modulus is 200. For nylon, the Young Modulus is 3.7 and for glass, the Young Modulus is 70. So in this table, still has the highest Young Modulus. Okay. Still has the highest Young Modulus in this table. That means... Steel is not easily to be stretched or compressed. Relationship between force constant K and Young modulus Y for a wire. From the statement of Hooke's law and definition of Young modulus, thus force equals Ke where E is the elongation, sometimes we use symbol X for elongation, F equals KX, but it is the same. 
and F equals Y, which is the Young modulus time cross sectional area A, elongation E over L naught, original length L naught. So KE equals Y A E over L naught because F equals KE. So simplify that equation. So we have constant K equals Young modulus Y time cross sectional area A over original length L naught. This means the force constant or spring constant depend on type of material, the cross-sectional area A, and the length of the wire L. So basically, wire shape is like this. It is shaped in cylinder. So this is the cross-sectional area. So we can determine cross-sectional area by the formula of pi r squared or pi d squared over 4 where r is the radius and d is the diameter and then this is the length of the wire strain energy u when a wire is stretched by a load work is done on the wire and strain energy or elastic potential energy is stored within So this is graph of force again extension E. Okay, the total work done W in stretching a wire from 0 to E is given by W equals shaded area. So W strain energy equals half Fe. The total work done W in stretching a wire from 0 to elongation E is given by W equals strain energy U equals half Fe. From the definition of tensile stress and tensile strain, thus stress equals force over area. So force equals stress times area. Strain equals elongation over L naught. So elongation equals strain times L naught. So this one, okay, we want to compare with this, substitute to equation U equals to half E, half Fe. So strain energy U equals half Fe. So, F is the stress time area and then E equals strain times L naught. So, we have strain energy U equals half stress times strain times cross sectional area A times L naught. Where area times L naught is volume. So we have this kind of equation. U equals half times stress times strain times volume. Okay. V here is a symbol of volume. Okay. This one is symbol for stress. And this one is symbol for strain. The strain energy per unit volume is the area under the stress strain graph until the proportionality limit straight line graph as shown in figure below. So strain energy equals area under the stress against strain graph times volume. So, U equals half stress strain times volume. So, strain energy per unit volume is equals half stress times
thumb st stress thumb strain thank you class